So here's a fun effect uh, using the scroll motion features of Adobe Muse CC. Uh, as I scroll down on this particular page, you can see there's a cardboard box down there. And as I keep scrolling, oh, look, there's stuff in the box. How exciting is that? And it animates up, and then it stops in its position, and I can keep scrolling on to more and more content. So in this, it really looks like there's a start position and a stop position. Uh, but what it really is is um, the photos that are in the box are scrolling at an accelerated rate of speed. And then at the key position, they just stop accelerating and go back to a, a speed of 1. So they match the box again. So let me show you guys exactly what this looks like in the project. So here I've got my cardboard box, and I'll show you my resources real quick. The cardboard box is a PNG file where I've cut out the top, so that way the photos will come out right where the edge of the box is. I won't have uh, any sort of white gap there. The bottom of it doesn't matter quite as much, but you might want to leave some space at the bottom of the box in case someone's on a larger computer display uh, so you can't see the photos sticking out the bottom of the box. And in my project here, uh, I've actually gone ahead and put a big white box to cover it up to prevent that. Uh, but then I've also got my, my goodies, uh, which are photos in this case that are going to pop out of the box. Those are a PNG file as well. And inside the project, I've just got the box on top of the PNG. And the PNG in the back, well, I guess they're both PNGs. But the, the box itself does not have any scroll motion applied. The box itself is just scrolling along like normal at a regular uh, scroll speed of 1. The uh, photos, on the other hand, that are inside the box are really just on a layer behind it. And if I take a look at my scroll motion here, I've got the photos scrolling up at a speed of 1.6. So not quite twice as fast as the box, but fast enough that they emerge from the box. And then after the key position, it goes to a scroll speed of 1. So that way they scroll at the same speed as the box, and it looks like they're in the box, and they're kind of going to stay put. So really the only thing that I have to worry about is the key position being in the appropriate position. And you can play with this. This is really just where will the top of the browser be when the photo stops popping out more and more and more. If I put this lower, then the photos are going to be emerging from the box until the browser almost hits the photos. And if I go up a ways, uh, now the photos are going to stop emerging from the box when the browser is up here, which will put this kind of in the middle based on my screen resolution. But every screen is different. So if I preview it and scroll, see they stop scrolling right about there because the browser from here to here is this many pixels, which is representative of how long this line is right here. Now if I go lower with it, I'll preview it again. Now the browser is going to have to get closer before they stop emerging. And now I've gone kind of too far. Uh, now if I stop to read, the photos aren't sticking out all the way, and I can't really even tell what's going on there. So you want to set this key position to be further away. Uh, I would say at least probably 200 pixels away from the top of, uh, of the image that's popping out of the box. But you can make anything pop out of the box. You can make an arrow pop out, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. You can make a download button pop out. I mean, I would love to see what people do with this, but I just think it's a neat little effect, and it's uh, not really that hard to build. You just need to make sure that you've got a box or an object as your container that's cut out along the top edge, and you're good to go. You just need to apply that scroll motion to the object that pops out of the box. So if you guys like this, please subscribe. I've got more coming soon.